With the state AA track meet just one month away, there's only a handful of opportunities left for athletes to hit qualifying marks. And Gallatin's Ryan Nansel did just that Tuesday, soaring to 21 feet 5 inches in the long jump. Heading into Tuesday, the junior was tied for 21st in AA, but that mark just jumped him up to number 4. Keeping with the field events, Jack Murray still holds the division's top throw in shot put and remains in a class of his own, eclipsing 50 feet on Tuesday. Neither team raced their top runners in the 1600, but Gallatin County is still home to some of the best distance athletes, with sophomore Isabella Dieterman taking first with a state qualifying time of 530.84. While Bozeman's Kieran Anderson took the boys, clocking 4 minutes, 40 seconds, and 1 tenth of a second. Now on to the sprinting events. Carter Dahlke clocked a new PR in the 100, edging out Bozeman's Oak Sullivan by 2 one hundredths of a second. His teammate Olivia Collins took the girls event with the time of 12.9 and is of course the Raptors anchor in the 4 by one beating out Bozeman with a time of 50.7. But moving on to arguably the best event during Tuesday's Crosstown, Unified Relays. Runners from both track teams grouped up with athletes competing in this year's Special Olympics and it was neck and neck from the beginning with Bozeman Seville Lowry and Galton's Logan Haas getting the first handoff. And it almost looked like the Hawks were going to take Tuesday's race with James Taylor out in front. But check out Gallatin's Jack Clark hitting the gas for the win. Both Raptor teams won Tuesday's meet with the girls winning by a mere eight points. While the boys rallied by the Hawks with a comfortable 25. In Bozeman, Ashley Washburn, MTN Sports.